This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the Quick Lab Turns and Services and YouTube Community Guidelines. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I am going to guide you through the process to complete this lab and help you to understand each step. First, log in with your Quick Lab credentials and once done with that, in the description box of this video, I have shared the GitHub link which will help you to automate some tasks over here. However, I will recommend you to follow along and understand what each command does so you can learn the process effectively. I will encourage to open and review the script to understand each step. So first of all, just simply scroll down over here and from here just simply open this link in incognito window over here. This will activate your cloud shell. So just simply wait for that. Now just me click on this got it. Now what you do, just me come back over here and from here just me copy this curl command. This command will download the github file from the github to your cloud shell. Then we have to make this file executable. So for that we have to just simply run this chmod command. And for running the command, we have to just simply run this particular command. Okay. So just me copy this, come back and paste over here like this way. And then hit enter button over here. Now just simply wait. Now here you can see enter your data set name. For that, come back to the lab instructions and from here you can see data set name. So just simply copy this, come back and paste. Hit enter. Now for the bucket name, copy this bucket name, come back, paste hit enter okay now for the region just me copy this region copy this one come back and paste hit enter okay now for the table name now i request to please pay attention when you are pasting the table name just me click on the task number one just me scroll up and from here you can see this table name okay do not copy the table name like this way if you just me double click over here as you can see it's selected let me just me show you why if i just me copy this if I just may come back over here and if I just may paste over here. So as you can see, there is one extra space over here. And if you try to copy like this way, then you will face an error. So what you do, instead of copying over here, just may select from here till here. Just may select like this. Now if I just may remove this, let me just simply show you. And if I just may paste like this way, you can see there is no extra space after equal to. So you have to just may copy like this. Okay. Now just may paste hit enter okay now for the task 3 bucket name just me click on the task number 3 again just me copy the way i show you just me copy like this come back paste is done okay now for the task number 4 just me scroll down and from here you can see this is a bucket name so just me copy this bucket name come back paste hit enter wait for a second and then just me click on this authorize now just me wait for a couple of minutes over here once you run this script, it will automate many of your steps to require to complete the lab. But it's essential to understand the process behind those steps. The goal is to use this script as a learning tool to help you to complete the lab, not just get a score. After the script run, you can go to the lab page and click on the check my progress to see the score. Make sure to review what each task does and why it's important in the lab so that you are not just getting a score but actually learning the concept. Now just simply wait and watch the command execution and understand what each command is doing. And it's done. Now here you can see this link. Just me click over here. Authorize yourself. And from here just me copy this token. Come back and paste over here. And hit enter. Wait for a couple of seconds now.
and it's finally done. Now if you just need to come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the task number 1, 3 and 4, you will get a score without any issue. And for the task number 1, the score is not updated immediately, no need to worry about that. If you just need to click on this check my progress, just need to wait and watch. As you can see, if it's already created, it will take time to update a score. Okay, so don't worry about that. Now what you do for the task number 2, just me come back over here, scroll down and from here you can see it for the task number 2 command. So just me copy this command, come back, paste, hit enter. Wait for a second and then just me click on this link over here. Again, you have to just me authorize yourself. Now just me copy this token. Again, come back over here, paste, hit enter. That's the thing that you have to do. Now just wait for this command get execute and once it's done, you are done with this lab. Meantime, you can just check the score for the task number one. Just click on the, this check my progress. Let's see if we get a green tick here or not. So as you can see, we are not getting a green tick. No need to worry about that. Just wait for this command get execute and then we will get a full score.
and it's finally done. Now if you come to the lab instruction and click on the check my progress for the task, you will get a score for sure. And if the score is not updating, just may wait for a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, you can just may go through each and every task and understand what you have done on this particular labs over here. Once you get a score on each and every task, after that you can just may end the lab. Just make sure that you have learned the concept of this particular lab. And that's it for this video. If you have any doubts and or any question, please let me know in the comment section. I will help you and clear your doubts. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys. Remember, this video is for educational purpose. Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.